hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mide Nancy if you're new here you're welcome I'm super excited to have you in this space thank you so much for tuning in today in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I balance work with school with faith with sports and also keeping healthy relationships alive and so many other things so if this sounds like something you're interested in then let's jump right into the video so i think i'm just going to divide this video into sections so that i can you know kind of talk about every point in details um first i'm going to be talking about work and and school because i've had some people ask me questions like oh don't you burn out like how do you do it work and school at the same time and um, we are still very active on YouTube I, I, I mean I'm active <laughs> at least once a week I try to post a video so how do you manage your time how do you how do you you know try to do these things together so for someone who is watching this video and um, you are from a like from a community or a country that's it's okay like it's normal for you guys to work and school um, that's not where I'm from we don't really have that culture of you know you're a student university and then you also have like an active like uh job at the same time maybe at the master's level maybe some people do that you know just so between work and school in nigeria maybe they do things like that but it's not never really a thing so it's a new kind of something to me as well i mean i worked a bit when i was in my final year in school but it wasn't really like a full-time job so how do i do that to answer that i'll say that this is um thanks to my master's program timetable because uh, my timetable is really flexible i only have like classes two times in a week like for the whole day twice a week and um sometimes i have conferences on like three other days out of the week <laughs> so basically if i don't have conferences i only need to be in class twice a week but i get to go to work other three times uh, left on the timetable I hope that makes sense so my first year of masters I intentionally didn't really do many extracurricular activities like sports and things like that because I just wanted to you know um, you know get a hang on it like try to see when is my free time when is not my free time do I burn out here when do I have time for YouTube and you know try to just structure my life into the new um, timetable into the new schedule and everything that was basically what i was doing for my first semester so now i have a better like i have a hang on it finally so i i, I do more things this semester so i think i answered the first question so how am i able to balance but even though i have to be in class twice a week what i have to submit is every day like i always have tons of assignments like each teacher gives us assignments um, against the next class so even though physically i need to be in class twice a week like every other day of the week i need i like my hands are full i'm constantly doing something i'm constantly preparing for a presentation i'm constantly preparing for defense i'm constantly like doing an assignment so we have lots of things like that so last semester it was worse because we had so many things like last semester I'm happy I wasn't really doing any extracurricular activities because there was no time basically for all those things. So I was just, you know, trying to like hang on, trying to hang on and all. But now it's more like either I already got used to it, so I know how to manage my time better, or maybe it's just like a bit less than first semester like stress. Before I forget, in those days I have conferences, seminars, and important like uh, forums I need to be in that compulsory that there will be attendance and or I just either skip work like i tell work that I, I won't be able to come i'm going to make up for that time at a later date <laughs> i'm going to make up for the missing missing hour and if it's a conference that is just part of like the conferences we have to like attend for the semester but they don't write compulsory i just send a, um, a mail to my program coordinator and explain to them that okay i have to work at this hour so i won't be able to make it sometimes i do half half like sometimes i go there like for the conference or for the seminar for half of the time and run to my workplace half um, the remaining half time so so far so good work is going well school is going well and yeah i'm grateful 
So the next one is faith. Um, I know and I've also heard that many people when you travel out of the country, it's more difficult to actually keep up like spiritually with your faith if you have um, a faith that you believe in you don't really have anyone to remind you you don't really have the push you feel like oh you're in a system where everything works why do we pray i was saying to a friend recently on call like like a nigerian friend like like i've never heard the sound of like oh like mosque like you know when you're calling for prayers like the mosque prayers or even like church church sounds or drums or whatever i've never heard the sound <laughs> anywhere close so yeah i went back to nigeria like i was hearing sounds of different type of things so sometimes even if you don't want to go to mosque or you don't want to go to church or you don't really want to pray or anything like just hearing like certain sounds be like oh it's time for prayer like i mean for the muslims and for the christians like because my country is like a multi-religious country so that's why i'm giving such examples so in a situation oh, and many people they're actually like believers and all like that and then they get to travel out of the country and they just feel like uh ah. then that's when they become preachers and they start saying things like uh we are too religious we nigerians we africans we are too religious where has our religion taking us to look at these people where we are now they're not actually religious but they have money things are going for them I mean this is not to judge anyone if you are of that kind of mentality I personally it was just a decision I made with myself and for myself that I'm not going to allow the opinion of others I'm not going to allow it to influence what I believe in what has been working for me what I, what is still working for me I'm not going to allow like how that because this person or this group of people think that what you are doing doesn't make sense why would I change my way of life? Like, it's just like I dress like this. Why would someone tell me that? Why the way I'm dressing doesn't make sense? It's it's a cake. I should dress this way. This works for me. <laughs> it's it's it doesn't make me ugly. I'm beautiful. So I feel like if it works for me and it's still working for me, why do I need to change? Because they said that I need to change it because it's not like it's not the fashion it's not fashionable enough do you understand my point so personally concerning my faith even before i traveled out of my country i came abroad i told myself that god this is one thing that i really want to i don't i don't want to like stop being close to you like it's not just about going to church like you having a relationship with god a personal relationship with god like i don't want to I don't want to compromise i don't want anything to take that away from me like i ran when i came i started searching for a job a church because i feel i i mean it's good to join online services and all but personally i just feel more dedicated when i'm with a community of people that have like minds and you know we grow together in spirit we talk you know a community of people that you share the same faith you love god and can discuss freely and if you ever have problems of any kind they are one of the first people that you are going to run to i'm here without parents i don't have my siblings some people are lucky to have their parents or siblings abroad i don't have anybody i have friends in court but i mean i'd rather run to the church <laughs> but so far so good i've not really had to run to anybody for anything so glory to god so basically how do i balance my faith there was a time that i really felt like ah, i've not been reading my bible as i wish to like i don't really read my bible i listen to music like worship songs i plug my hairs for hours like on my way to like journeys um when i was in luxembourg basically like i plug my hairs i pray i i talk to god and all but i don't really like specifically take out my bible like i want to read my bible so i was really really worried about that i tried downloading like a kind of devotional app and uh, my you know i tried to start reading the devotional app and then later i found a friend actually um came to visit me in luxembourg and she um you know introduced me to her own kind of like bible reading app and so far that has been life-changing for me transformational i'm going to put it on the chat on the on the screen it's you version uh bible i think i'll put it in the description box the link if you want to um download the bible like this is really going to keep you on your toes you get to read the bible every day so 
I think so far that's how I try to maintain my faith. I uh, pray with a, like I join a prayer every morning when I wake up. That's the first thing I do. And as well, before the end of the day, I have is it 24 hours before the end of that day i need to read my bible and on sundays i go to a physical church and um on on saturdays <laughs> sometimes most saturdays i go to like fellowship with like youth and they're even like they're not even it's not even like a like people might think it's all oh, a church of black people only like all oh, the white people don't go to church no my church is like a multi um european multi um national church there are polish people mostly polish in my church there are um, you know french very many french people in my church they are you know just different type of people they are indians they are um there are so many tribe, um, so many cultural, so many countries and people like that in my church, and I really love it. Just a community of people that believe and okay, that's hope for faith. <laughs> so now I'm going to talk about how I also inculcate like sports in my, um, you know, my life these days. How I try to balance everything together. I just uh, in my like I said earlier in my first semester, I couldn't do like things like that. But this semester, like, I just told myself, like, you know what, I cannot keep waiting, like, oh, when I graduate, that's when I want to start doing sports. Like, I need to keep fit. <laughs> so, basically, I registered at the gym because, I mean, I sometimes I do home workouts. I have, like, mats and some other things, haps, like that, here and there. But home workouts, you're not really disciplined and you feel like, mm, that today, tomorrow, I'm going to do it. But I realized that when I, when my money is going into something, I'm really really serious about it because i know how hard i work to make money so if i'm actually using my money to pay for the gym subscription every month i need to get something done like i really need to so that was that was the drive um in the first month i you know i just kept going because i've paid for this thing so i really need to make it work i need to get you it but now i totally like i'm used to like i totally love it like straight from class most times i already take like my gym things like with me to class so straight from class from school i my last classes are always between 5 36 like latest if i don't have like an exam like a test kind of to do after so from six straight to the gym gym i come home so i try to go every day and when i feel like oh no today i just gonna take a break my muscles are weak and everything i just don't go so that's how i inculcate sports into my life and balance try to balance everything together so it's, it's not like as if i don't have like other things i do like oh other life things i do like um watching movies once in a while i watch movies like yesterday night before i slept i saw a movie and i slept from there so i just try my possible best to just try to keep every aspect of my life i'm not so social in the sense of going to the club or going out like friday night i'm not that kind of person i'm sorry so <laughs> that has also been helpful for me because if i was that kind of person it would be difficult for me to actually do some other things um with the time that i'm supposed to be at the club and everything so i'm just glad that <laughs> i'm not that kind of person the very last part i think <laughs> i'm going to be talking about is how i try to maintain like good um relationships like how i try to keep my um, healthy relationships alive relationships can be friendship can be any type of relationship to you so some i have like relationships relationships that um i'm still engaged in from like nigeria I try my possible best to you know prioritize this 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 at so 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 time i'm not on social media 24 hours but when i feel like okay i need to be with my friends for this moment we need to talk we are there so i just try to most of my relation healthy relationship aside from my relationship with god <laughs> most of my healthy relationship like they're like very understanding they know my life i know theirs so we kind of everything just kind of flows no one is really pressuring anyone that oh need to be online there's nothing like that basically when i check on my friends straight up we are talking like we just pick up from where we stopped no one is ever saying oh you didn't check on me since 10 days you've never like this one no one says all those type of things basically i'm not expecting them to also check on me every day as well like when we have the time to talk 
we pick up from where we stopped and everything just flows just a matter of priority if you think like you have healthy relationships you already have from your country if you feel you are okay with that you try your possible best to stay in touch with them you try it's just the same way i talked about i want to maintain my relationship with god and also healthy relationship people that they will always be there for you so you try your possible best no matter how busy no matter how tired or how tight your schedule is you try your possible best to remain in contact with those people because i mean like i said it's boring especially if you're also not an outgoing person so having those people who always constantly keep you like okay i still have my friends I have my friend i mean there are many people that travel out of the country and goodbye <laughs> to their friends and they never heard of them again they try to their friends from nigeria or from their countries try to check up on them and got no responses i mean i've lost some friendships like that as well when i was still in nigeria and i don't push it as well so i mean it's reciprocal my friends try to check on me i try to also be there for them my family how do i keep up with my healthy relationship is also my family <laughs> so my siblings my parents i make sure i call my parents at least once every week once every week we have a time like if i don't call if i don't see their call i'm calling them like if they don't see mine <laughs> they're calling me so i stay in touch with my parents i try my possible best to stay in touch with my siblings as well we talk basically every week i make sure that i see them and i like talk to them so these are just things that you know they're just natural with the whole hula balu um crazy things happening abroad uh, these are relationships that constantly keep keep my brain functioning and just help me know that okay stay sane stay sane it's gonna be fine and and i mean basically that's how it has been for me just taking everything one step at a time basically so if you're in that situation where you're asking yourself oh if i travel abroad how am i going to continue to you know how am i going to cope as a student working how am i going to um continue you know we have questions like that how am i going to i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep my friends like there are people that they travel out of their country and they just forget about every friend that they had before like it doesn't have to be so that's basically what i'm trying to say by healthy relationship like your friends can still always be your friend distance shouldn't just be a problem when like i mean friends that i'm talking about we still don't live in the same city even in this in, in the same con like even in my country we don't live together we don't live in the same city we don't see ourselves every day but in the country we try to like you know stay in touch so that's basically the same energy that you put into things how do i keep up with god how am i so sure that when i travel out i'm not gonna change it's in you you ask yourself are you gonna change <laughs> So it's not a situation of, oh, when I get there, what if people say I'm too holy? It depends on you. Do you care about what people say or do you just care about doing what you want? Like, are you going about pleasing people or pleasing yourself? So it depends on that. You need to ask yourself this question. Like, I hope this video has been interesting as it has been interesting to me. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope it wasn't just me talking and rambling. <laughs> basically i because sometimes i just want us to come on here and just speak talk about real life things and just it doesn't always have to be or oh, how to apply how to do this how to do that sometimes you just these are questions that people ask themselves and um i just want us to have conversations like this once in a while so please do well to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe in the subscribe button oh, if yeah. you're seeing my face for the very first time thank you and uh you can follow me on my social media media nancy on instagram you can send me a message if you want and uh leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have something to say about today's video and i guess i'll see you in my next video no i'll see you in my next video i'm not guessing <laughs> goodbye